Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Saurabh and today we are going to discuss about the Akinio Web2 Print module. This is the very first of the print module which is being developed by Webcool for Akinio. The module allows you to export product information from Akinio PIM to Adobe InDesign. You can use this module to manage and export your data for print catalogs, magazines, brochures, leaflets or any other print material. So if you are a merchant and you are looking to export the products to a kind of a print document, so you can easily use the Akinio Web2 Print module. The Akinio Web2 Print module is available at 399 US dollar on the Webcool store. So if you scroll down, you will find the features of the module and some related questions. So let's go back to the Akinio dashboard. So once you have installed the Akinio Web2 Print module, which is uh, same as the previous modules, here it is one thing different that uh, you will not get to see something like that uh, Web2 Print module here. And now there is any kind of a setting which you need to do on Akinio. So you can directly go on the product section and create a product and run export job. So what I have done is that I have already created four products which are meant to be printed for a document. So I will directly go on export and create an export job for the products. So in the job required, you can search for the web to print, you will find a web to print export. <coughs> Just save it. The value is already used, let's provide the numerical value. Save that. Okay, so we have created a export profile here. Uh, now let's go on the content and you can select the channels here, the locale, and uh, you can also do a filtering based on the family. So right now I have uh, created a family name Adobe in which I have uh, added the products here. Next you will also get the option of status with the products are enabled or disabled. You will also get the category on completeness whether the product has the information completed on at least one selected locale or no condition for completeness. So it depends upon you what kind of filter you want to use for completeness. You can also use a filter for time condition like if the product has been updated over the last n number of days or since this date. In the category section I am going to select the category Adobe in which I have added the products and just confirm it. You can also use the identifier for the product if you have used that identifier while providing the product information. So let's save the export profile and click export new. So the product export job has been started. Okay, so we can see that the export job has been completed. So let's move on and do the configuration for Adobe InDesign because in the web print model you basically use a Adobe InDesign you create a template you export the progress from Akinio to the Adobe InDesign and then get the print document. So you can just go on the user guide section of the Adobe web print which can be easily available if you click on the user guide here. So here uh, we have provided the settings for Mac and Windows. So you can just go on the steps. So we just need to do some few steps for configuring the extension for Adobe InDesign. So since I'm using the Windows, you can open a registry key name as current user software Adobe CSX F.8. So you can open that registry key either by going on the run command and typing reg edit. So I have already opened that address as you can see HK user software Adobe CS access A. So here you just need to create a profile name player debug mode which you can easily create by tapping on new and go the string value. So when you have done that you will get something like this player debug mode and provide that uh, profile the value one and save it. 
so this is the very first step which you need to do and the second step you have to go on the directory app data adobe cep extension i have already opened that directory here as you can see here so what you need to do once you have downloaded the zip file of adobe web to print module you will get something like this you will get these files src web to print change log so you just need to copy the web to print folder and paste that in the directory which is mentioned in the user guide so in some extension uh, cep slash extension directory is not there so in that case you can manually create the directory cep extension and then paste the folder web to print there so once you have done that just restart the adobe indesign software so this is my adobe indesign software and this is a sample template here which i have created for getting the catalog so you can create a template design whatever design you want so right now we will go on windows section here this is the window menu here if you go on extension you will find akino web to print extension has been added so just click on akino web to print now here you need to provide the credentials where the akino has been installed so let's move on and provide the credential here and yes after that you have provided the credential just click on fetch data so once you have clicked the fetch data you will found the results like sku image description material name price so these are the descriptions which you have provided what while creating a product in akinu and those information has been fetched on adobe indesign so once it's done just click on add data to data merge now you again go on windows and go to utilities there you will find data merge so just, just click on data merge now when you have clicked add data to data merge all the attributes have been added here like you can find sku image description material name price and everything so you have got the attributes you have got the values of the attributes and you have added those attributes in data merge now this is the template which uh, we have created for getting the catalog so what all you need to do you just need to map those sections with the respective attributes so either you can like drag and drop here the name has been added here or you can select here the name section and you can just click here right. for like description you can say description description for material you can say the material so once the value has been mapped you can just click on preview and here you can see we'll find the values here the image is there the price is there skew is there material is there and the description is there so now what all you need to do since you have we as you have seen that i have uh, made four products and i want to export those four products onto a one single page so just go on adobe indesign and uh, in the data merge table just go here create merge document so once you are there just select from single record to multi multiple record here and then click on preview so as you can see right now you have got all the four products here on the same page you can just uh, like uh, manage this settings from here like suppose this one to move to some right section and in between rows i need some spaces here okay. 
I will just drag it from the bottom. So now you see uh, the catalog name is there and the product has been fetched here. So just click on OK. Once you are like I have the design part, just click OK. So you can just close this thing, just a report. Now, if you want to export that document in the format you prefer, so either you can go here in the export here option. And here you can like uh, save in Adobe PDF interactive print etc. So if like I want to get the document in print format, just click on here and save. So you can just go through with the settings once and then click on export. So I will just go to my desktop and see whether the file has been exported. So here you can see I have got the PDF file. And this is a document which I have got here. So by using the method which I have just shown it to you, you can get all the products which you have made in Akinio onto Adobe InDesign and then get all the products in a printed format. Now it depends upon the design which you make, either you can like provide two products on a same horizontal space, so that will make a eight product on a single page. So it depends upon the design, what design you make. You just need to map the section with the fields which are there in data merge and then you can directly export the product in whatever format you want. So this is all for the Akino Vectorprint model. If you have any issue regarding this model, you can directly raise a ticket at webcall.qvidus.com. Thank you.